More weather coming up here in just a moment, but news now, a pipeline project proposed in both Iowa and Nebraska would capture carbon and send it to North Dakota to be stored underground. Despite promises of environmental and economic benefit, some landowners are putting up a fight. 3 News Now reporter Aaron Hegarty explains why. Martin Maher's land near Imogene, Iowa has been in the family for a while. We've owned the farm for 123 years. Back in 2021, he started hearing about the possibility that a company, Summit Carbon Solutions, would put a pipeline through it. He's worried what the pipeline could do to his farm, especially the terraces. If my soil flows down the river, there goes my productivity. The company needs to buy easements from landowners, and if that fails, eminent domain, a for sale, could be an option. Our goal really right now is to focus on voluntary participation and make sure we're addressing landowner questions wherever possible. Summit Carbon Solutions says it's too early to talk about the possibility of eminent domain. They say most of the route in both Nebraska and Iowa has been secured through voluntary sales, about 70 percent in Iowa and 60 percent in Nebraska. People view this as critical to the future of agriculture and the future of ethanol. A bill in Iowa aimed to make eminent domain for the project more difficult, only allowing the use if 90 percent of landowners agree voluntarily. That bill passed the Iowa House, but the Senate didn't take it up. A Des Moines Register poll showed 78 percent of Iowans are against the use of eminent domain for carbon capture pipelines. Why are our elected officials not listening to us? The pipeline wouldn't run through Jan Norris's property, but she is nearby and has a big concern, a rupture with people close. If there's a rupture on this line, they're gone. They're gone in five minutes. She points to a carbon pipeline rupture in Mississippi in 2020. A cloud of gas sent more than 40 people to the hospital. The eminent domain bill's failure in Iowa doesn't change the work of a lawyer representing Iowa landowners. What we can do legally is challenge whether or not the pipeline companies meet the prerequisites to obtain eminent domain. This is a taxpayer credit corporate welfare uh, project to ship waste to the ground in North Dakota for no beneficial use for anyone. Summit says the pipeline would have big environmental and economic impacts, but some landowners say they just want to be left alone. Aaron Higarty, 3 News Now. On the eminent domain bill, the Summit spokesperson told us they hoped the rules wouldn't change two years into the process. They say Iowa's ethanol industry would lose $10 billion each year without carbon pipelines.